Hi everyone, and welcome back to the tasting room. I've gotten a couple of questions recently about the rating scale that I use, and you know what the what the numbers mean, and how I score the whiskeys. And uh, I realized that I never really explained that, so uh, I, I think it's a pretty standard uh, rating scale. But uh, but I'm going to use this video here to uh, to explain what all that means. So the rating scale that I use is out of 100 points. So 100 points being like a the, the perfect whiskey, which I haven't found yet, but if, uh, if you know of one, let me know. Uh, and it's broken out into four subcategories. The nose, the taste, the finish, and the balance. Each of those being uh, you scored out of 25 points, and then the final score adding up to something out of 100, right? So the nose is first, and it's exactly what it sounds like, is the aroma of the whiskey. How does it smell? So let me say first, you never want to chill the whiskey in any way. You don't want to use those whiskey stones or put it on ice. Um, I always drink it neat. You know, every every now and then I'll add a, I'll add a drop of water or so to a, to a higher proof whiskey. But uh, but in evaluating them, I you know I like to stay true from you know the whiskey out of the bottle. Uh, you know, the reason you never want to chill the whiskey is because it uh, it traps the aromas. You actually want to warm it in your hand a little bit helps to release those aromas. And what I'm looking for is, you know, it, you know, is a nice is a, a nice consistent complexity, right? You know, you know, very simply, what do you smell? You know, is it nutty? Is it do you smell the honey? The uh, do, do you smell oak, vanilla? You know, are there are there different spices? You know, and it's based on the uh, the complexity of the nose and how well those aromas work with each other. Uh, that, uh, that, that that I'm giving it the score for. I mean, every whiskey you're expecting something a little bit different from, like a uh, in Isla single malt Scotch. I'm you know I'm looking for some nice some nice smoke, right? For a uh, for a sherry aged whiskey, it's going to be a little bit sweeter. And all those are good and different in their own ways, but you know they they, they should have you know they, they should be more complex than than just that one note. They you know they you know, all whiskey has layers. Same then for the next category, the taste. You know, you take a couple of sips of the whiskey, let it wash around in your mouth. You know, evaluate it. How does it feel on the palate? You know, what what kind of notes are you getting? What kind of what kind of flavors? Taste it a couple of times. Again, a smokier whiskey should have more than just smoke. There should be different layers, different flavor profiles beneath that. Maybe it, maybe it has some, you know, some some plum or some you know some darker fruit notes underneath. You know, it should still have those spices. One one particular flavor shouldn't dominate the the whole flavor profile. The next category is the finish. Again, also out of twenty five points, um, you know the finish is you're looking you're you're looking for how, how does it finish? How does it how does it leave you? You know how does the uh, you know, what's the what's the mark that the uh, that the, the whiskey leaves on your on your palate after after it's gone? Is it is is it, is it spicy? Does it linger for a while? Um, you know, in, uh, in in Kentucky, this is uh, they, they actually call it the the uh, the breath that you take after uh, after you you take your your whiskey, you get that 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 next rush of flavor. They call it the uh, the Kentucky hug. I think it's the aftertaste of the whiskey and how you know do you. Uh, do you have those spices on the palate? Is it is it bitter? Is it you know does does, does it leave a bad, uh, bad taste in your mouth? Maybe you know maybe it didn't age properly. And then finally, there's the balance. And I look at the balance in a couple of different ways. I look at uh, you know I look at how how well the uh, the nose kind of ran into the taste, ran into the finish. You know how uh, you know how uh, how well each of those flavors. Uh, Related to one another, or the aromas. You know, I'm looking at the uh, the, the mouth feel. Was it was it was a nice full-bodied whiskey? Was it a little bit thin, uh, like some Irish whiskeys I think can be. And then most importantly, it's the uh, it's the balance of those flavors. You know, was uh, did the smoke or did the sweetness dominate the uh, dominate the palate and uh, and didn't allow for for any of the spices to come through. Uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, one of the more well balanced whiskeys I think I've ever had was uh, uh, was this one here, the uh, the, the Lafroig Cargius. This is the uh, the Madeira cask. You know, be beautifully well balanced, uh, smoky, sweet. 
you know, had some spices. It was just a beautifully balanced whiskey. So all those scores are, you know, for those four subcomponents are out of 25 points, and then you know we add, we add them up, and we get something out of 100. So you know, think of it as a percentage of a perfect whiskey, if you will. So that's it. That's how the rating scale works for uh, for at least for the tasting room. You see different variations of it everywhere, but uh, but I think most of them come come down to you know a, a score out of 100. Uh, we're drinking today. If uh, if anyone's wondering, very old Barton. The uh, the hundred proof, in honor of the uh, I saw the headline yesterday the thousands of fallen casks from the from the Barton seventeen ninety two rick house that went down. So we're uh, we're reminiscing about that today. You know, I saw the headline and I saw the picture of the uh, the black rick house and I knew that it was uh, that it was from Barton. So it was very very sad. Hopefully that doesn't affect too much the uh, the price of that delicious whiskey. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And always feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, if you're not already a member of my channel, please uh, hit that button down below and subscribe. And I uh, hope to see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.